drops down on this end. There's a whole lot going on. A whole lot happened there in a hurry. Today's episode is made possible through the support of Madman Mark McGough. If you're interested in being a part of this and supporting building robots and teaching people about science and engineering, check out the links below in the description and see how you can get involved. Thank you. Hi there, guys. Welcome back to the workshop. We're here today on Project Archie. This is episode two, Project Archie. And what we're going to do today is we're going to mount the base to the base, which is weird. This is the for serious CNC aluminum machined base. This is uh, the plastic piece we made in the first episode. Now, the reason you need both of these is because things happen under here. So down beneath here is where you're gonna end up with a big pulley and a drive motor, and that needs room to do stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mount this down so what you need to know as you do this is we'll need our screws from the last episode and we're going to verify the size on these. Now, if you order the hardware kit, you have to take all the screws out of the bag and size them and make sure you got the right ones. So these are 3.7, zero. Let's, let's try a real zero. Okay. Eh? 3.7 millimeters. Now for this type of screw, this is a pan head machine screw, you measure from the bottom up to the bottom of the head. So just the threaded part and we got 20 millimeters, okay? So this is a 20 millimeter M4 machine screw. Put your plate down. Now you're gonna, you're gonna use these two holes here, there and there. And you're gonna put them into these two receivers, these two sockets that we made earlier. And if you did it all right, it's the first time I've ever done this, everything should line up. Because you've got to have that line up with this. And now that we've epoxied that together, it's not going to flex very well. And it's got to line up at the back back here. And it turns out we got just a little tiny bit of wiggle room, but this is, this is very, very well planned out. And I just printed this. I didn't create the file. This is as it came from Anon Robotics. Now you're putting metal into plastic. So don't over tighten that. These are very tiny threads. I went finger tight plus a quarter turn, like, like just fingertip tight. And the only reason I really got on is I wanted, yes, I am anal enough that I wanted my screws to line up right. So we now have a robot base. We have metal parts. How cool is that? That's our first piece. So now we're going to set this aside. And we're going to we're going to deal with this. This is our turret. It's the, the J1 turret. And it's going to mount in this spot there and we'll have to make sure that face is the right direction and that it's on the right side. You'll notice part of this is round and part of this has a flat. This is where something's going to mount in the future, so we want to get that right. But that's going to mount there, and we're going to put the spindle inside. This is the J1 turret and spindle. Together, they're really all the turret, but this is a spindle. And we're going to mount our bearings, and we're going to talk about the bearings because your mileage may vary on the bearings. I got lucky. So let's take a minute and put all this together. All right, so we're going to set this completely aside. Now, we're working on the flat end. We'll call this the round end and this the flat end. You can see the, there's a flat machined in the side, and I'm pretty sure this is where a uh, micro switch goes, but the flat doesn't go all the way to the end, and that lets you tell one end from the other. We're going to start on this end, so we'll set that up there. You will have two of these. These are the 32009X bearings. And the box is labeled, and you can see, you'll see that laser engraved on the bearing. Now these come in two pieces. Okay, and there'll be a light coat of machine oil on them too. Leave that on there, don't wipe the oil off. Now if you're lucky, you can do this.
and it'll just drop right in. That's what you want. That's awesome. <laughs> that may not happen. There is a very precision fit between the outer ring of the bearings and the inside of this cylinder. Because there are tolerances in manufacturing both of this machined part and the bearings, yours may not just drop right in. It may require a little wiggling, and if you, if you do do that, if you start putting that in and it gets cockeyed at all, if it gets just a little kitty wampus, you're going to have a bad day, and do not like grab a hammer and pound that in. There's a couple different ways to do this. Best case is you just get lucky and it just drops right in. Okay, because that's that's totally tight enough. Like there's that's not slopping around. I'm good. You may be able to just set it on there and press, like lean down on the counter and, and seat that, and that might work for you. Worst case, if you can't get it in, put the outer part, the aluminum part, in your oven for an hour at 350 degrees. Put the outer race of the bearing, this part, in the freezer for like, I don't know, two hours. Put that in your freezer and then put this in the, in the, in the oven, heat it up. And then after this has been in the oven for an hour and this has been in the freezer for a couple hours, Take this out of the freezer, take this out of the oven, and very quickly drop one into the other, and then this will probably fit. Because by putting this in the oven, in heating this, it grows a little tiny bit. It, you'd, you'd have to measure it with, with a set of calipers. But it does grow. And it grows enough, and this shrinks enough by being in the cold, that you can probably get one into the other. And if neither of those work, well, then you're off to find a friend who has an arbor press or something, and you're going to have to hydraulic press it in there. But you probably won't have to do that. For me, mine dropped right in. Maybe I got lucky. Maybe he's got his manufacturing that dialed in. Given the attention to detail that I've seen displayed so far from everything related to Anon Robotics, I'd be willing to bet he's got his manufacturing that dialed in. I think you're going to be fine. All right, so now that we got that worked out, now we get to put this together. And it's actually pretty easy to do. What we're gonna do is take one of the bearings, one of the center pieces, and we're gonna drop this down on top of your J1 spindle. Now here's your spindle, and you can see one end has a shoulder and four holes, and the other end has no shoulder and a whole lot of holes. So we put this like this on there, and it'll just slide right on, nice and easy. I'll take that out of there a minute. So now take this and see how we've got the round down here, the flats at this end? Okay, we put this in there and it just slides right in. And then we put this in there and it'll all line up. And now that we've got all that together, we put this, drops down on this end. There's a whole lot going on, a whole lot happened there in a hurry. But you end up with this, and you can't just flip it over. If you, if, you, if you aren't holding here and you aren't holding here, the whole thing will just fall apart. But that's where you want to be. That's what we're going for. So pay very close attention. I'll take this all apart so that you can see how that goes together. Because this, this isn't hard to do, but it's easy to screw up. So let's take everything apart. See, in the minute that gets a little cockeyed. See, if that's kicked off to the side, don't force it. Just the lightest of pressure. Just, just a little tap and it'll move and you can get out. Okay, but don't, don't ram that because aluminum is soft and will gull. And if you get that in cockeyed and start smacking it, you're going to screw up your bearing face or you're going to score this all to hell and you don't want to do that, you'll have a bad day. So here's our parts. Now flat, round, okay, follows the curve, milled flat. So this end is the flat end. This end has the big shoulder on it. 
And this is just smooth. Shoulder end has four holes. Other end has eight holes. So that's how we're sitting. So here's how it goes together. We'll put this goes on there. We'll set that down like that. This goes in here. All goes together. Flip it over. Drop that in. Flip this over. Drop that in. Got to get it through the thing. There. See? You got the whole thing. And in case you're wondering in the future, that's the bottom and that's the top. Four holes on the bottom. This is where a big pulley is going to go. Lots of holes on the top. And this whole assembly is going to sit with this to the back. You can see that hole right there is going to line up to that hole. And this all sits right there. But if I set it in there, the whole center is going to just fall out the bottom. But it sits like that when it's... Ah, I can't show it my... Okay, it sits like that when it's all done. And the bottom fell out. Story of my life. Oh, wait. Yeah, that'll go right through. Okay. <laughs> so that is our J1 spindle assembly inside and out. You should be able to easily build this part now. So we've got that done. We're going to set that aside, but we'll come back to this in the next episode. So at this point, you should have your base is done. That's all together and good and happy. And you've got your J1 turret and spindle assembly built, which is pretty cool. Not bad for a day's work. All right, so thank you guys for hanging out and being a part of this. That's episode two on Project Archie. We got a base, we got a spindle. We got moving parts, we got things that spin. This is so cool. We are on the path to building a robot and I am thrilled about it. I am also thrilled that you're taking the time to do this journey with me and being a part of this and exploring and experiencing this. You guys have fun. Thank you for hanging out. I'm Chris Bowden and as always, we'll see you next time. Thank you for hanging out. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> My whole thing just shit itself on the counter there. Hang on a minute. All right. What?